A visitor centre, which was badly damaged in an arson attack three years ago, will finally be rebuilt after being promised more than half a million pounds of funding. The RSPB building at the Sanwell Valley Bird Sanctuary has been closed since the fire in 2010, but now the Heritage Lottery Fund's donating £600,000 to rebuild it. Yvonne Brissett has the details. Hidden away in a built-up area to the north of Birmingham, this nature reserve attracted 25,000 visitors a year before a fire devastated its visitor centre in 2010. The arson attack left part of the building completely burnt out and the facilities there unusable. Before you knew it, the whole lot was going up and the whole centre was uh, caught light. Um, so very quickly it went through the wo wooden roof and we were um, left with a building that we couldn't really use again, it was unsafe. Staff and volunteers here have been operating from a temporary home for the last three years. But despite losing the main building, the centre still attracts well over 10,000 visitors a year. It's good walks, it's fresh air, you meet lots of lovely people. We walk the valley every day. The valley day. every day, do three miles. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'll beautiful. Run. I run, she walks, and I've been doing it since I was 12. Now after two years of consultation, the RSPB has secured £600,000 of National Lottery funding to rebuild the centre. When completed, this area will become a building for educational and community groups and visitors to relax. Visitors can expect to see over 100 different bird species, as well as a wide range of wildflower and wildlife. The new building is designed to be more eco-friendly with solar panels and a more efficient water system. This new visitor centre, it'll be light, airy, uh, you'll be able to come in and you'll be hit with the view, which we've maximised with lots of windows um, looking across the, the valley behind us. Staff are now working closely with architects on final plans for the building and it's hoped the new centre will open to visitors in spring 2015. Yvonne Brissett, BBC Midlands Today, Sandwa Valley. That's lovely now.